Hey everyone, in this video I will discuss very three important functions which will be needed for working. If you want to get a Excel course from basic to advanced, please comment below. I will make. Keep watching the full video to learn. Let's say I ask you to find the total of these eight amounts. Now, one way is to add each value one by one. To do this, enter equal sign, select the cell containing amount one by one. Press enter. Eventually, you will get the total 425,000. If you find the total in this way, this is gonna be very time consuming and inefficient method. Here comes summit function. To use summit function, press the equal sign. We have to press the equal sign because in Excel, before writing any formula in Excel, always starts with equal sign. That's how Excel knows you are about to enter a formula. Then type sum, enter open parenthesis. Simply select the all numbers you want to add. Here I want to add these eight amounts. So I selected these eight cells. Close the parenthesis, then press enter. You get the same total more accurately and efficient way. Let's say you want to add up only the salary from the sales department. Here is three departments, sales, IT, HR, and here are the department salary. Instead of doing it manually, we can use sum if function. Press equals, then write sum if, enter open parenthesis. First criteria is range of sum if function. The range means the column your condition will be checked in our case that the department column from a1 to a6 in criteria we have to write the condition means what we are looking for as we are looking for sales department so we will write sales before writing sales we have to put the single quotation then have to write sales then again type single quotation then enter comma in the sum range criteria we have to select the actual numbers to add so in my case the salary column where the actual amount is from b1 to b6 then type the close parenthesis and enter you will add up the all salaries where the department is sales. If you do it manually, you will get the same result. Such as select, select the cell containing sales department salary and then press enter. See, we got the same result. You can also use summit functions with numbers only. Let's say we want to sum only salaries above 50,000. To do that, again, we have to press equal sign, then have to write sum it. I told you the range means the column where my condition will be checked or my criteria will be checked. So as I am looking for the amount above 50,000, so my range is column B and have to put the criteria. Again, we have to type single quotation as we are searching for greater than 50,000. So we have to enter greater than, then type 50,000, then again, single quotation, then comma. The sum range will be where my value will be added. In my case, from cell B1 to B6, then 
enter open parenthesis then enter see here all the amount above 50,000 is added if you check above 50,000 which one is B6 B4 and B3 if you press enter see we got the same result sum and sum is functions you are gonna be using more when you will be working with real data set let's discuss about the more powerful function name subtotal let me show you how to use this function and how this function works if i tell you to sum this all sales then you will use sum function and simply select the all amount and press enter you will get the 500 if you want to check the sum of fruits only sum of vegetables only you have to use sum if or sum function manually but with sum product function we can do it dynamically how this works let me show you if we filter this data and let's say we want to get the sum of fruits let's select fruits see the amount is still same 500 here comes subtotal function let me show you how to use this function to use this function enter equal sign then write subtotal enter open parenthesis here you can see two criteria of subtotal functions one is function name and second one is reference first criteria is function name here you can see many function as we want to get the sum of these values we will find the sum function in the function name if we scroll down we can see the sum function then we will press the tab button then we will enter the comma in reference criteria we will select the all data from a1 to c6 then we will press the close parenthesis and enter if we filter the same data let's say fruits you see the sum is getting changed if we sum these three fruits items of sales we will get the 330 same amount again if we change the filter and select vegetable we get the 170 if you sum this two you will say get the 170 when you have very big data and you have to sum by criteria like fruits vegetable apple by product by category or by department dynamically then you can use subtotal function here i showed you of using three functions sum sum if and subtotal in real world work you are gonna use these three functions often if you find this video helpful like and share the video and subscribe my channel to get more videos thanks for watching